Dad. What brings you here? How's your health? Luo One One. All the deeds you've done outside have spread. You've really put me in a tough spot. So, what are they saying outside? They say there's a demon. That comes from my mansion. Ruthless and oppressive, a cold-blooded killer. <sighs> I'm not that scary. And you're laughing? You're coming home with me now, to reflect yourself. Let's go. Father-in-law. Yichen. <laughs> My dear son-in-law, you're truly distinguished and extraordinary. Imposing and formidable indeed. <laughs> uh... This marriage was meant to be good. It's my fault. I failed to raise her well. Don't worry, I will take her home. And she will learn to obey and follow virtues. And soon, she'll be a wise and obedient lady. <laughs> Father-in-law, I am well aware of everything about her. As my wife, she doesn't need to be obedient, nor excessively wise, nor does she need to focus on me. She should live as she wishes. Yi Chen, do I need your approval? When I educate my own daughter? When she was destitute and wandering, you did nothing. When she refused to marry, you did nothing. Now you want to assert your authority as a father. Do you really think you have the right? Please feel free. My wife and I are busy now. Ah, but... Miss Minnie! Miss Minnie! It's fresh out of the oven. Try some. Thank you. Hold on. There are many new foods at the market lately. If you like, tell me, and I'll buy them for you. Your wound has healed, but you still need to recuperate. Minnie? What's wrong? Did I do something wrong? It tastes not right. I'll buy you fresh ones. Joe. It's the first time someone peels chestnuts for me. If you like them, I'll peel for you whenever you want it. And I can cook, men clothes and knit. From now on, you'll never have to endure days of hunger and cold again. Joe. What are you doing? Madam, what brings you here? Right. I shouldn't be here. Disturbing you two. Should I? It's not that. All right, just joking. Where is he? Well, he went to handle the case. The case? Where did he go? Maybe he went to the courier hostel. Or to places Park Day had visited. Places Park Day had visited? So, just tell the truth. Where did he go? Flower Brothel to see the courtesan. Flower Brothel? The courtesan? 
Boss? Madam? This gentleman, you look unfamiliar. Is this your first time here? <sighs> oh, an official, huh? Then I must take good care of you. Miss Liu, do you know Park Day? <sighs> Those who come here are either officials or wealthy big shots. I wonder who you're talking about. Have you been feeling unwell lately? You seem quite compassionate. The scent of medicine on you is the unique ginseng. A tribute from Sinluo, not sold in the capital. How did you come by it? Maybe given by a patron or other girls. I can't remember. Miss. You better think through. Park Day was murdered, and the list in your hands could cost you your life. You really don't know? <sighs> I said what I meant. I really don't know. Do you want me to strip and prove to you? <laughs> How dare you strip? Shameless, despicable. Since I can find this place, so can Park Day's murderer. You're smart. You should be clear. Cooperating with the authorities is your way out. Since you care so much about me, why not do me a favor? <gasps> Since you care so much about me, why not do me a favor? Wife, what are you doing here? Shouldn't I be asking you that? What are you doing here? I'm obviously here on the case. Or did you think I was here to flirt? Well, it sure looks like it. Uh, uh, wife, <laughs> seeing you so worked up, I might think you're jealous. <sighs> After Park Day's death, the list of Shinluo spies he had vanished. His Highness has been looking for it, to no avail. I assume Park Day had already moved the list. Then how do you know the list is on her? It's those Shinluo people who said it. Those Shinluo businessmen are all glib talkers. Not a single truth do they tell. I can only arrest them and torture them. Under extreme torture, they have no choice but to talk. Extreme torture? That's what they get for their frivolous behavior. Drink a few more, then I'll tell you. Come, another one. I should have gouged out their eyes, chopped off their hands. Well, did she tell her relationship with Park Day? No. This Liu Cheng Ying, she probably knew I was coming. She prepared in advance. She's deliberately hiding the truth. It won't be easy to get anything out of her. Well, if your methods don't work, might as well try my way. Keep it down. Listen. What's that sound? <sighs> Tell me, how many hours will it take for her blood to be drained by a cut on the wrist? It won't take hours. Just a few quarters and the blood will run dry. 
Who? Who are you? Why do you want to kill me? I have money. I can give you whatever you want. <gasps> we don't want money. Then what do you two want? Where exactly is the list? Park Day left behind. The list? What list? I don't know anything about a list. <sighs> it seems... This blood... Is still flowing too slowly. <laughs> In my room! Behind the mirror! <laughs> Sir! You're a government official! How can you be so ruthless? Harming the innocent? Look at yourself, are you hurt? <gasps> You're despicable. Miss Liu, my apologies. Wife, please watch her for me. I'll go to her room to find the list. Oh no. Don't go. <laughs> Li Yichen. The weapon used on him is coated with strong poison. I've already administered an antidote. Tonight, he need to be well cared for. Only if he survives this night, will he be out of danger. Li Yichen, listen to me. You must pull through. Do you hear me? One, two. Li Yichen, can you hear me? If you don't make it, I'll never forgive you in my lifetime. Did you hear that?
After last night's incident, I immediately sealed off the scene and carefully checked everyone present. Nothing suspicious turned up. Who on earth could this killer be? We had just found Liu Chengying, and then they came right after to silence her. Also, to injure you and kill Miss Liu in such a short time. They're truly unfathomable. It seems the killer is someone close to us. Someone close to us? How can you tell? They know our movements very well and is clearly familiar with my fighting techniques. First, they threw darts to disrupt my vision. More importantly, they deliberately snuffed out the candle. Maybe they were afraid I'd recognize their figure or martial arts. Do you have any suspects in mind, sir? Only a few knew I was at Flower Brothel yesterday to investigate the case. Your Highness. This is the list from Park D. After you read it, destroy it immediately. Notify everyone to hide their identities. We must not let Li Yichen find out. Your Highness, this list is a fake. What? Fake? Hmm. It's all the members of the royal family. Some of them have long retired. Outsiders wouldn't notice. I guess someone wants to switch things up and has other plans. And another strange thing, this morning, while investigating at Flower Brothel, many girls reported thefts, especially the items in Miss Lou's room, completely ransacked. I wonder, why would a killer also resort to theft? A thief? How could it be so coincidental? What kind of thief would be so familiar with Miss Lou's property and choose such a time to strike? Could it be, let's go, let's go back. Yes. Sir, we've checked Miss Liu's body several times already. Nothing unusual was found. classic trick of misdirection. It seems Miss Lou was well prepared. Just as I suspected, the real Liu Chengying isn't dead at all. Miss, everything's here. I've taken all the valuable things from Flower Brothel. They were so snide towards you, they deserve it. Clever. Miss, what exactly happened? How did you manage to escape? It was a substitute prepared by Mr. Park. That night, when Miss Luo ran out, I switched places with her. <sighs> Luckily, you were so alert. Mr. Park really had foresight. He treated you well, too. It's a pity. He just had a short life. But now, miss, what do we do? Where should we escape to? Escape? 
Why should we escape? We may face danger! I haven't gotten what I wanted yet. How can I leave so easily? But is there anything more important than your life, miss? Delia, there's always a way out in a desperate situation. We've been sold to the brothel since we were young, never lived a day of luxury. Right now, this is our only chance to turn things around. Miss, but it's really dangerous. Besides, if they haven't discovered my fake death, it would be safe outside. But if they find out about my ruse, it will be dangerous outside. Escape won't help. The most dangerous place is the safest. Celia, you go back to Flower Brothel first. We'll watch and wait. Okay.